In the previous videos, we saw how to parse and validate an HTML7 message using Merge Connect. And in today's video, we will see how to insert data received in this HTML7 message in a MySQL database. Our database here that contains two tables, one of the tables named patients and contains as columns first name, last name, and date of birth. Okay, let's go back to Merge Connect console. To insert the received data in a database, we can use a connector named database writer here. Let's skip this destination and add a new destination for MySQL database. Let's pick database writer. Here we have some configuration. Let's keep it by default. And for the writer setting, we can choose MySQL. Let's insert URL template and modify it, of course. We have here local database, so local host. The port is the default port, 3306. The database, we have my database. Username root. To write an insert query, we can do it manually, or we can choose the easy way by clicking insert and pick our tables where we're gonna insert the data. Let's look for patient's table. Okay, so the connection is working and here Mert Connect found the, our tables. Let's pick the columns that we will use. First name, last name and date of birth. And here when we click generate, Mert Connect will generate an insert query and put it here in the body of the SQL. Now we can drag and drop our fields to complete the query. So the first field is the first name, then the last name, and the date of birth. Let's save. Deploy channel. <coughs> okay, let's send a message as usually. Update these fields. Before we send, let's check the content of the database. We do not have any row. Let's send. Okay. Let's check the database now. Okay, we have our data successfully inserted. Let's explore Merth Connect more in the next video.